Hello and welcome to the LP Dimension. I am your guide, LP. So, quick thoughts on um, frost freezing and uh, uh, microclimates. Sorry for the delay. Um, I believe a hard freeze is under 32 degrees, and um, I've heard some reports that there were have already been at least a frost in my area. Um, and we were supposed to have a freeze. They didn't say a hard freeze, but a freeze last night. And I was certain from looking at the temperature that that was not going to be the case. But I knew it still made me think that at least a frost was possible. One way that I believe I can tell that we've not had a frost is that we're looking at peppers here. And while they definitely do appear to be affected by the cold, these were not covered at all last night. Um, so if there was a frost which there could have been a light frost um these leaves are damaged but they're not severely damaged and they're also not black that's one thing i've noticed um when they actually get a frost or they freeze is that the leaves will turn black um, now this tomato plant, this is blight, which is probably just a very general, vague way of saying it's some kind of disease. Um, this tomato plant should have long been gone, but look at this new growth. Nothing. So now let's go to the back. Oh, and here's my ginger. It's definitely time to pick this, but I know that since what I'm harvesting is underneath and the ground isn't freezing, that, um, there was no need to cover this in fear of frost. So these ground cherries have been looking less than swell for some days now. Um, I would say they look affected by the cold, but are they also just dying? So what I did last night, and it looks like the wind already blew this off. This is a frost blanket. Um, and I wanted to protect my pumpkin as well as my watermelon. Um, now they say that uh, zinnia are frost sensitive. Um, however, I've experienced in the past that in the fall, the zinnia survive at least a frost or two, but the freeze will, the freeze will get them. Um, so this Leelanau Sweet Glow looks to be okay again this was covered so I would expect that but where it wasn't covered and even this uh, Dixie Queen watermelon she was not covered and she's not affected at all basil doesn't like the cold and you see it's okay there's a squash plant oddly enough here's a touch me not uh, garden balsam that has flowered again and that, hmm, interesting. Okay, so this pumpkin is particularly potentially sensitive, if you ask me, because of the fact, I could be wrong, I mean, I guess really it has just become its own plant since it's rooted in the ground, but, um, yeah, it would appear that I think they were generalizing terribly um, because I see a lot of plants that would be affected. So if you're not sure if you experience frost, if you still have sensitive plants, go look for leaves that just look sick, that look wilted, kind of like we saw on the peppers. That pepper's been looking like that. Um, the leaves look kind of wilted. They might be kind of curled, but most especially look for black spots. Or blackened leaves um, kind of like if you've ever frozen a green uh, a, a leafy green it'll um, it'll turn black or if you notice that basil as it basil very quickly starts to turn black um, that's 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 the leaf being damaged so um, yeah from I should maybe protect this or something. 
but we, you know, yeah, we would expect this plant because it was covered to be okay, but there were parts of it that weren't covered and they're okay. So um, when you hear that you're gonna have, look, Google what is a freeze and what is a frost. And when you hear that you're gonna have either, look at your actual hourly temperatures through the night and see what you in your particular, in your specific area, when you put in your zip code, um, look at what you're going to get, what your temperatures are going to be through the night. And if they don't reach that, um, if they say you're going to have a frost and you don't get below, let's say 36, you might be okay. Still protect sensitive plants. Um, I did put a bunch in my garage that a uh, bunch of peppers that I just, I didn't want to try covering everybody while I was also trying to cover um, these plants out here. And uh, my citrus trees, I put them in the garage. I do not have a heated garage, but um, like Felicia F.R. Humphrey was saying last night, that concrete, the garage itself becomes a heat sink, so it should keep them well. But I do need to hurry up and get them out of the garage. Well, not really hurry. They're just not getting any sunlight, but um, it is still chilly out here. So look up what your temperatures actually get down to throughout the night. Give them a degree or two of difference um, for consideration and uh, and also look at how long they stay at those temperatures and let that help you decide what um, what you're gonna do. If there's something that you really love or that you really are trying to keep alive, don't take chances, but um, make an educated guess. I appreciate your time in the LP Dimension. Be safe, be well, bye for now.